Today, we'll show you how you can use Amazon Q and QuickSight to understand movie and audience data from IMDb. With Amazon Q, we will build a dashboard and use it to ask questions on the data. Then, we will build a data story to help present the data to film studios to guide their decision making for future film investments. Let's start by building our QuickSight analysis. I have already created a Q topic on my movie dataset and linked it to this analysis so that I can use Amazon Q to assist me in building this dashboard. I'll begin my analysis by asking Q what data I want to insert as a visual. We can see that Q generates this line graph, which I'll add to my analysis. I'll continue to ask Q questions and build more visuals, asking things like, compare movies by genre. And Q provides me this nice horizontal bar chart of the data. But let's say that instead of this, I want to see the data as a word cloud. Using Amazon Q, I can edit the visual by typing what I want to be changed, and Q will make those changes for me. Now, I want to build a calculation from my existing data fields. I can use Q to create the correct syntax by typing something like, set yes if the title won award and no otherwise. Q builds the calculation, which I will name award one and save. Now, let's say I want to use this calculation to visualize which titles won awards by genre. Q can build a visual based on the calculated field I just defined. I also want to add more context for my end users, so let's build a table for movie details, but I only want data from 2015 to 2020. And I want to edit this table by adding a conditional format in light blue for a rating above 6. After continuing to add visuals and customize the analysis to fit the IMDb brand, this is what the final dashboard looks like. Now let's see what executive summary Amazon Q generates using the dashboard's data. This insight looks interesting, and glancing over the other two, it looks like Amazon Q provided an accurate summary. I'll go ahead and give a positive review to provide feedback for the team. I'm interested in learning more about just the US. Here, Q provides several visuals answering this inquiry and a supporting narrative to summarize its findings. I can even ask Q about my favorite actor and how many awards he's won. It looks like he's won for 12 unique movie titles and 11 unique types of awards. Nice! Okay, now let's build a data story on this dashboard. First, I'm going to add which visuals from my dashboard I want to include in my data story. After choosing my visuals, I'll begin typing what prompt I want Q to generate my story from. I want to create a story that shows different countries and their movie ratings and award wins so that I can predict which genres may be most popular in the future. When I choose Build, Amazon Q generates a general framework for me to get started, with a suggested title and sections to describe different parts of my story. Here, it created a story called Navigating Global Cinematic Trends, a data-driven look at how movies move with their audience. Looks pretty good. It has sections answering my prompt with descriptions and visuals from my dashboard to support each section. I want to make a few edits before saving my story. In this current genre trend section, I'd rather see the text as bullet points. I could also ask Amazon Q to instead change the text to be shorter or longer. After editing the story to provide additional context for my end users, I'm almost ready to publish. I'll finish by choosing a theme for my story and customizing the background using art that QuickSight provides. This looks good. Before I share this story with my team, let's see what it looks like in preview. Nice. Now I can publish and share this story with my stakeholders to prepare our upcoming presentation to the film studios.